Hey, Rich. It's Great. been a little while. It's yeah. been a couple of weeks since I saw you. Yeah, yeah. Welcome was, home. Thank you. I was busy playing concerts in Korea, in, right. in Seoul. I just got back from playing a gig with the Baltimore Symphony. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the shirt. Oh, you're welcome. Philadelphia International Music Festival. Yes. You're teaching there next week. That's right. When it's taking place on the campus of Bryn Mawr College, I'm the, the head of the keyboard studies program there for mm -hmm. the July session. Looking forward to that. And then I have to go to California next week to film a sight reading course and do some work with the Philadelphia Orchestra later this summer. So I, I'm gallivanting quite a lot this right. summer. It's been I'm glad I caught you. Yes, thank you. By the way, your, your concert with the Baltimore Symphony was an outdoor concert. That's right. Yeah. yeah. This just came back. We're looking at the N3. Oh, I'm Rich Gallicini. I'm Hugh Sung. Welcome to the Piano of the Week. We apologize. I know it's been a couple of weeks since our last newsletter. It's my fault because I've been busy playing, really busy performing. So our Piano of the Week is... The N3X Hybrid Piano. By Yamaha. And yes. this is a remarkable instrument. We just started to talk about outdoor gigs. I was playing with the Baltimore Symphony for part of their July 4th concert. Mm -hmm. and, and for their concert, they had this not so great slab keyboard synth you know mm -hmm. it was it's an outdoor concert so you don't want to risk bring you can't really bring a big heavy piano out to a park uh, even though it's under a tent you know it's a lot easier to use a smaller instrument but frankly i wish i had something like this well philadelphia pops the philly pops had a july 4th concert on the benjamin franklin parkway guess what they used this instrument? That's exactly right. See, Baltimore, you have something to learn. <laughs> <laughs> so the hybrid piano. Yeah. This set, tell, me, tell us a little bit about it. Well, first, <clears throat> I, we've done some videos on hybrid pianos. We mm -hmm. did a video a few weeks ago on the Yamaha N2. This is the top of the class that Yamaha has in terms of what we call the hybrid piano. So this basically combines the real physical keys and hammer and action of an actual wooden acoustic piano, but combined with the digital sound of some of the world's finest pianos. Now, I actually have to make an apology. One of our YouTube viewers pointed out that the video we made last year of the Yamaha N3, which is the previous version of this instrument, I mistakenly said that it had the sounds of Yamaha's CFX 9-foot concert grand. It didn't. The, the N3, the previous version, only has the sounds of the CF3S, which right. was Yamaha's previous mm -hmm. premium grand piano, I mean, concert grand piano. Still a great piano, but this N3X now really does, I'm sure, <laughs> it really does have the sounds of Yamaha's CFX 9 foot concert grand, as well as the new sounds of the Busendorfer Imperial 9 foot grand. So, if I may, the piano of the week was one of the upright avant grand models. The difference between that instrument and this instrument is the speaker system, 200 watts of power, yeah. really tremendous placement of speakers. Mm -hmm. There's 12 speakers, a lot of power. So this could actually fill a small recital hall. Absolutely. Yeah. And, what's, and one of the things I love about this instrument, and this is not something I can say about a lot of digital pianos, as much as I, I like them, but when it comes to really subtle, and especially subtle French music, sure. and especially subtle French chamber music. When, now, the, I just played the opening of the Foray Violin Piano Sonata. And in this piece, I have to sometimes sound like a soloist. Sometimes I have to be way under the solo. I have to go, so the range of colors for accompanying somebody is much wider than just playing as a loud soloist. Right. This is the, one of the only instruments, digitally speaking, that I can feel confident enough that I can really play and get as close to the colors that I would get on a premium concert grant on this instrument. If I was to play chamber music, I'd be comfortable with this. And in fact, it is digital sound, but I think it's a mistake to call it a digital piano because mm. this is so much more. Yeah, yeah. With that full concert grant action, there are three lights on every note watching the action move so that no matter how you play, that sample that has also been modeled and tweaked will come out just the way you expect it to. Now, do you sit down at this and think you're at a nine-foot concert grand? You know, to be honest, as a professional pianist, obviously I can tell the difference. Yeah. It's, it's not a nine-foot concert grand. But what's interesting is that after I sit down and play this for a while, and I've said this before in the previous um, uh, hybrid grands, everything from the sound, the sound of the speaker system really envelops you. So you really feel like you're in that recorded space, right. if that makes any sense. And because the touch is so realistic, and everything from not only the action and the responsiveness of the keys, and you can feel the hammers move, the virtual strings, you can actually feel the virtual strings, literally, not just in terms of playing, 
but even the vibrations is a tactile response system, which you can turn on and off. But if you have it on, you can actually feel the strings vibrating through the keys and through the pedals. After a while, it's like, you really feel like you're at a nine foot piano. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. The illusion does take place. Yamaha has gone through great pains to reproduce every element, every facet yeah. of sitting at a real acoustic fine concert grand piano. Of course, the benefits are that this is a much smaller instrument. So if you've got li limited space, or if you need to amplify this, or play this outdoors you know, mm -hmm. with an orchestra, this is the kind of instrument that can hook into a speaker system, or it could be played in a recital hall just as yeah. is, or plugged in with headphones and practiced late at night without bothering anybody. Well, we already have a number of churches who have chosen this instrument because they can then go into a sound system. Sure and adjust it along with all their other instruments playing, and sometimes there's lots of them. Sure. Uh, but this is also the only digital hybrid grand piano that we've had universities choose. Mm -hmm. it's, it's an amazing instrument. And, and again, mm -hmm. even just on its own with the lid, I mean, this lid really does make a difference, and there is some soundboard action that helps amplify those speakers. So even just on its own acoustics, it sounds fantastic. It's really yeah. quite remarkable. Well, it's great to see you. Thank, oh, welcome home. It's great to be back. Yeah, man. Uh, would you play us out? I, I will play us out. And once again, this has been the Piano of the Week. This is mm -hmm. the Yamaha Avant Grand N3X, the newest version. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.